was given him. I don't think uh, initially he got near it. I don't think Flintoff thinks he did either. But Doug Cowie has given it. Flintoff has crossed. And we'll soon see who with. Well, I mean, our initial reaction was he didn't get anywhere near the ball. I mean, like two or three inches. I mean, it's absolutely nowhere near the ball. He's gone for 29, 118 for six. Up a little bit of swing to get the outside portion of the bat. That's when Adapadu will come in handy. Oh, it's gone to first slip. The bowler thinks he's got him. Justin Lang is turning around as if to say, well, what are you appealing for? Jay Awadon is the fieldsman. He thinks it's a regulation dismissal. And so does the bowler. Well, it certainly hit something to get through to the man at first slip. Justin Langer looked to me like he was leaving the ball alone. I get the feeling it's flicked the bat on the way up as he was trying to take the bat away. Definitely flicked the bat. A late decision to leave the ball go. The catcher thinks he's caught at the kick. And Langer stays. Controversy top end. Session one. Well, I've got to say, I can't get over the reaction from the Sri Lankans to start with. Jay Widener, he feels that he has caught the ball, cleanly caught the ball. Now, Vast wasn't overly confident. But he can't tell. It'd be very difficult to tell in your follow-through. There was a reaction from second slip worried me. Keeper's confident enough. Sankakara there on the right. He's happy enough. That's one for none. The man on the left, the man at second slip, is not all that sure. And it's that doubt. It means that Justin Langer has remained. And I'm with you, Ian Healy. I think that's a clear dismissal. Another one past the outside edge. Well... Lang has survived, I'm not really sure how, probably because of the reaction of the Sri Lankans. Exactly, and you're not supposed to give dismissals and decisions on the strength or the weakness of the appeal, that's for sure. The umpire has ruled here that it hasn't carried. Hopefully, of his own volition, his own decision, not on the reactions or non-reactions of the Sri Lankan players. Third slips are worried too. This is this, the first hour of a test match, you better be all over that. You want to break through this Australian top order, you can't be lethargic in your appealing as they were. Obviously, there's no problem with the ball hitting the bat. There's the appeal. Down Ryan has a look around. Still no Billy, still no Billy. Billy goes for a wander. Down Ryan ambles through for a single. He comes back into position, does Billy, and up goes the finger. The crooked finger of doom. <laughs> You see Mitchell Johnson there, he could not believe it. <laughs> he thought, well, that's it, it looked close. It's been turned down. <laughs> on the outside edge, and there's a mix-up here. This could be out. Oh, it's, oh, he's dropped the ball. Oh, did it hit the stumps? He'll need to see this replay. If the ball hit the stumps, I think Gilchrist is out. If it didn't, then he may well have just got away with it. Now, Gilchrist thinks he's OK. He's walking down the pitch to have a chat to Ponting. This will be interesting. Salia, what do you think? Um, Kalavitan hasn't been able to really take it clearly. We won't be able to see it from this angle. Uh, see the ball down there and see the batsman in. So I think uh, Gilchrist is uh, safe. Yes, he's dropped the ball for a start. Have a look at the ball. Goes out of his gloves. That's bad wearkeeping. It's down on the ground, out of his gloves. He then hits the stumps. Then the ball hits the stumps. But in any event, the bat's got uh, over the line. So, a little bit of excitement there. And uh, Gilchrist has survived. He wouldn't have known that the ball uh, actually went down onto the ground like that. But you can see his gloves here hitting the stumps, breaking the bales before the ball got there. And the bat is in, in any event. You see uh, Kalua Thorne getting excited, dropping the ball. Well, he's going to have to watch the problem. There must yeah. be a problem with the light. He's given him. I think he's made a mistake there. Well, I think he's pushed the wrong I button. Think pushed the wrong button. I really uh, am not too sure about uh, what really went on there, Tony. Because it is very, very clear to see that uh, Chris was safe. Right in. The ball was... Uh, when the ball did hit the wicket, the bat was in by about uh, six or seven inches. <laughs> and Stanley has taken. Such a difficult mistake. And A.B. Dibble is unmoved. The umpire is unmoved. He reckons it's clipped. The pad on the way.
to Sachin Tendulkar and the Indians cannot believe it. Well, incredible take either way from Tendulkar. So here Khan, once again, getting into it. The corridor of uncertainty has to be his nick this. And it's straight off the edge. And that's a brilliant catch. It did go pretty quick, didn't it, Shiver? That, that, that was always the big question. If it hit the pad, it would have been slow. That's just a regulation nick. What was the batsman trying to indicate? And what a poor decision this is. Big outside edge. innings going for the full shot on 192 Kumar Sangakar was given out caught this will be an interesting replay but what an innings doesn't look all that thrilled about it I didn't think he's got 192 off 282 balls when they're trying to save the game pretty remarkable strike rate he hasn't even got close to hitting that it's hit him uh, off the arm and then onto the helmet. No wonder he wasn't too thrilled with the decision. There he is. You must be joking. Yes, that's a disappointing end to one of the all-time great knocks here at Bell Reeve Oval, and he should be annoyed. That was a shocker. We don't criticise umpires very often, but he was nowhere near it. Hit the shoulder onto the helmet. The end of a superb innings. And it's nine for three, six, four. Well, Clark gets the wicket. But uh, when you that close to a double century, it would have been three out of four knocks. Let's have a good close look at this. He's looking for the full shot. There he goes. Nowhere near it. Unless there was a faint under edge, but it didn't appear to be so. There it is now. It's a close. I don't think so. To me, as though he is through too quickly with the shot. He has finished the shot and then the ball went past the bat. Hit him on the shoulder, helmet. Kuma Sanka's head. Oh, great delivery, wonderful delivery, and he's given him out. Oh boy, he's going to have to be very sure that that's hitting the stumps. It hit very, very wide outside the off stump. He, mind you, he was standing on his crease. Allowed it, uh, or didn't play a shot, the ball ripped across uh, from that really dark patch outside off stump. Billy Bowden paused for it for a, while, for a while and then gave it out. Have a look at this. Where's that come from? He's bowled sliders, he's bowled wide, things that have been getting through to Gilchrist. There hasn't been spin like that in this over or this match, but Warren produces it. Have a look at it. He's given the umpire a good look. I'll bet it's cleaning them up. No, it's not. Great bowling by Warren to trap a man back on his crease for 119. Yeah, it's only missed by about six inches. Oh, gone. Caught behind. Steve Davis. I certainly heard a noise, a sound. Hafiz can't believe it. Yes, Yunus Khan also. Well, it could have been all over for Sangakkara. He wasn't on strike, but the last man was on strike. Have a listen. Caught behind. Clearly a sound inside edge, a big deflection. Adnan Akmal was off. Steve Davis, you got it. Oh, that's close. Too much bounce. Too much bounce. It nipped back. Oh, he's given him. Oh, no. That's a dreadful decision. That is a dreadful decision. He didn't play a shot. He allowed the ball to, well, it, I mean, the truth of the matter is I don't think he anticipated the movement back off the seam, but there was no way that was going to hit the stumps. That's his third duck. Have a look at this. Just watch them. He's in trouble here. I think he's gone, and I think Saruman knows it. This idea of not running for a misfield has been abandoned a long time ago. I think uh, Zimbabwe here think they've got their man.
Well, has he been given not out? They haven't gone upstairs, I don't think, Faz. The umpires have not called for it. There was definitely an appeal, and I think they might be told this is unbelievable. Unbelievable. Catch! And just to rub salt in the wound. Oh, something is absolutely wrong here. Well, they can't believe it quite, quite correctly. There was an appeal. The question was asked by Zimbabwe. I think it's the umpire who did not go upstairs. And, and that is the thing about technology. Well, my first reaction was it was slipping down the leg side. Um, from round the wicket, you really have to do something. Just, just let's see. Perhaps there was a bit of bat in it. Lara didn't look happy to me. Just watch this. The ball comes in from very wide. And, uh, well, I mean, it's definitely not hitting the stumps. When you, when you consider where it started, uh, forget about whether or not it was an inside edge. It, was, uh, it seemed to me to be going down the leg side. Look, pitch is outside off stump. The angle of the ball is such that uh, it looks as if it's going down leg side. Well, I think he's just a little unlucky there. He looked very determined. A big wicket for the Australians. Three, four, Ricky Ponting's first test, he came oh so close to a maiden 100. Oh, big appeal there for OBW. He's gone. He's given him out of OBW. That's hit him high on the leg. That's a very, very disappointed Rick, Ricky Ponting. And, well, what a disappointing moment. Likewise, the ball came oh so close to being LBW. There we are. And the question is, was it going up? Well, it did him uh, just above the pad, I'd say. So I think you have to say he was just a little bit unlucky. And if there was any doubt, he never got it on that occasion.